but for someone who is just literally new in this space it will save your time good but then again in terms of in-depth knowledge and actually accuracy and understanding i think having to go and learn in terms of maybe an online courses whether be it of reading the book or probably even watching tutorials and likes i would highly recommend that over using chargeability to start off with if you're just starting a career in data rights or whatever Oh my gosh, this is absolutely unbelievable. There's no better time to get into data analytics than now. Chat GPT seems to be the hot topic and the latest revolution in AI right now. A lot of it out there about this new tool that was released in November 2022. It's a revolutionary technology that allows computers to literally understand and respond to natural language. And now this is literally possible because the machine has been trained with a lot of models, right? To technically be able to answer your questions and give you an accurate answer. So I said to give it a try. And why not try out by asking a question, how can I land a job as data analyst? But before I do that, let's ask ChatGPT to explain what it is in simple terms. So ChatGPT is an AI language model developed by OpenAI. It uses advanced machine learning techniques to generate. All right, so let's ask ChatGPT to explain to us the layman terms really. So in simple terms, ChatGPT is a computer program that understands and generates human-like text. It chooses as artificial intelligence algorithms to process to process natural language. In other words, ChatGPT is a chatbot that can hold conversations with, with, with people. Pretty neat. So in other words, it's more like a chatbot that I can converse with, ask questions, get access. But can, can we try and see how smart it is? Is it really that smart enough to understand what or give us the accurate answer we really do need, right? So let's ask ChatGPT how accurate are your answers? As an AI language model, I am trained to generate responses based on the patterns and relationship in the text I was trained on. However, I love the clause in there. It says, however, I'm not perfect, and there may be times when my responses are not completely accurate or relevant. My responses are generated based on inputs I received. Fair enough. So the quality of my output depends on the quality of the input. Yes, so like garbage in, garbage out. Whatever I put in, it's whatever you get out. So just think about it, about it like a, as a computer, right? My choices are generated based on the input I receive. So the quality of my output depends on the quality of the input and context in which it is given. I strive to provide the most accurate and healthy information I can, but there may be occasions when my are not asked to ask. ask. They could be. So now let's ask ChatGPT to the main question, right? And I'll recommend us five data analytics projects to work on and let's see what it says. First of all, it says, okay, predictive modeling, um, develop a predictive model for a real world problem, customer segmentation, right? A B testing, really good, yeah. Fraud detection, good for those in the finance space. Recommend that system, your regulatory step on night. This project will help you gain practical experience in the field of data analytics and demonstrate your skills to potential employers. Choose projects, now listen to this. It says, choose product projects that align with your interests and career goals and focus on creating high quality work that you can showcase in your portfolio. Fair enough. Um, I love the fact that I gave us ideas regarding different domains and even A-B testing, which is really good. And also letting us know uh, how to also ensure that we are gaining practical experience field of data analytics and choose projects that actually align with our interests. So like I always say, ensure that you choose projects that align with whatever domain you're looking to go into, right? That's fine. Now my recommended projects will be based on building a solution and products rather than just working on projects, right? And I'll always recommend working with a real world project. And now that way it actually forces you to bring on your thinking cap. Right? and also allows you to think as an analyst really and also like think about solutions to your problem now the very first the very first one i'll actually recommend is analyzing road safety a business problem is literally um having to source for data based on open data set that's out there and in there you're able to see how to analyze how safe the roads are in a particular country and you actually answer a few questions using the data set that's also available as well in terms of the niche to actually think of working on projects the very first one will be sales right so analyzing a company sales their revenue their profitability as well so in terms also in terms of finance Think of profits and loss statement, right? Balance sheets and the likes. Transportation, you can think about like the railway, the air, or the sea. If for banking, I recommend like loans, right? Um, fraud, having to do risk management reports as well. So 
also these industries have been selected because they are some of like the most common industries that literally employ data analysts right now having um some of your reports or analysis in these different units literally shows your um, willingness to gain domain knowledge right needed for any particular role that you actually need to get into so these are literally my um tops project i would recommend for you even if you to start or build um, your portfolio in data analytics I recommend that you participate in the challenge and also share your work right so make over mondays one way one um challenge out there maybe challenge as well to onyx data storytelling with data these are like four really relevant um challenge you can actually participate in to just solidify your power bi as well as your tablet skills right also sql by danima i would recommend it all the way so these are my recommended projects if you've come to this part of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and like. So now analysts are wondering if AI chatbots could someday threaten Google dominance. Also, how is it different from its competitors, right? Or would I even say the alternative? And in this case, I actually honestly think that it can't really compete with Google or other said browsers. And I really love a recent tweet by Alex Fredberg, who is a data analyst professional, also a fellow YouTuber, right? And he says that ChatGPT seems to be much more of a helper than any actual worker. It will help users to get prompts code and generalize information faster than even digging through stack overflow or just googling something and it may be even more useful and personalized in some cases in some cases right which is true because it won't just always recommend you as specific as how google will based on your searches right because google is really good at recommending um or giving you an answer based on your search history but ChatGPT hasn't really gone to that phase where to actually give you personalized information so now question is is chat a good alternative to google as a search engine so basically this ai has information about everything at the moment even at its current state and now this is um me quoting the ceo of open ai samuel altman right on twitter she says chat is incredibly limitless but good enough at some things to create a misleading impression of greatness right it's a mistake to be relying on it for anything important right now he goes on to say that it's a preview of progress right so we, there's a lot of work to be done and also in terms of its robust robustness and truthfulness so yeah chat is a good tool however it could also have some limitations since it's still in like um a period of um, testing and retraining the models as well to write just to ensure that it's actually accurate so it, i would say it's still fairly new in the market space so you'd really want to ensure that you know how to use it appropriately because it also has its limitations and now the first thing is sometimes one of the limitations even as stated in the website is that you could have incorrect um answers to your questions and one thing you would also find out if you're using judgment is that it will not really give you personalized recommendations or personalized answers right and now this is where like google literally like beats it 100 percent because based on your search history and your and your browse history or your searches you've done on the website or even wherever you're able to see personalized and targeted information if you try to ask google a personal question right but in this case chat would literally give you a generalized answer and nothing really specific to what you really want as a person or as it relates to you as a person but one way that actually works well is that if you have like a project you're working on see for example um sometimes i used to literally ask questions um more like questions around um different queries i'm working with right so having to help me um or explain a particular query so for example if i don't understand what this if no statement is doing what i'll do is i'll literally um ask it to explain it to me in simpler terms and it breaks down the query really good right and this is one way you can actually use chat for a generalized kind of work right and i would actually advise that if you're starting out as a newbie please and please do not just um rush to chat gpt and start using it and think you will actually get the right answer or get the right guide technically it could help you but for someone who's just literally new in this space it will save your time good but then again in terms of in-depth knowledge and actually accuracy and understanding i think having to go and learn in terms of maybe an online courses whether be it of reading the book or probably even watch tutorials and likes i would highly recommend that over using ChatGPT to start off with if you're just starting your career in data analysis or wherever you now this is my personal opinion i think that it is what i would honestly advise if you're even new in this space pretty much another limitation is that ChatGPT is sensitive to tweaks to the input phrasing or attempting to the same prompt multiple times so for example giving one phrasing of a question the model can claim to not know the answer right but then when you literally tweak it a bit you literally get the correct answer so you can literally go on and read more of those limitations in the website so what this means is that um yes 
in the first glance you may not get the right answer but when you probably change it or tweak it you may get an accurate answer so these are like some flaws in there that i feel like you should uh, be wary of if you're looking to start off with chat uh, let me know what you think about this video right and if you as a person would you leverage on chat if you're just starting off in a career in internet analytics or will you actually take out time to use yourself to taking courses or tutorials just to strengthen and hone your skills in a particular domain rather than just running off to chat GPT and just like asking the questions right in my opinion I've, I've told you what i feel i would do if i was just starting out in analytics right so let me know what are your thoughts um chat GPT over google or chat GPT over tutorials or chat GPT over um youtube what are your thoughts so thank you so much guys for watching and sure to like share and also subscribe as well to see my next video bye guys